Did you know that the timing of your home sale could determine how much you sell for by thousands of dollars? I'm gonna pose this question. What would an extra 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, or even more do for your personal circumstances? I'm sure that type of money would do a lot of the good for you. The timing of your home sale and getting the top dollar really comes down to when you want to sell and when it's possible for you to sell. Throughout this video, we're gonna be talking about when the best time to sell in Massachusetts actually is, and this is relatable for pretty much most of the country as well, but we're gonna focus specifically on Mass because that is my home market. And then we're gonna dive into Worcester County itself because that is where I mostly practice real estate. The thing with real estate, it follows a very similar cycle year in, year out, which we're going to get into throughout this entire video with graphs, data showing that and showing you when the best time of year to sell is, which is spring as a little spoiler alert right there. And then we're going to get into specific market trends for this, for those months in particular that are the, be that are the best time to sell, like average median price, median sale price, the d average days on market, the number of homes on the market at that point in time, and just the month supply of inventory that's available for the market. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Jake Boucher. I'm a realtor with Lamakia Realty in Lemish, Massachusetts, <clears throat> which is in Worcester County, which we'll be talking a lot about throughout the video. I hope to keep this video to the point and uh, get you all the info that you need in a relatively, I guess, reasonable time frame. There's a good number of sellers that know that spring is the best time of year to sell their home. Uh, but not a lot of sellers know that. The reason why spring is the best time of year to sell, especially in Massachusetts, is because that is the time of year when most buyers are actively looking for a property and there's not as many sellers during the spring than there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months later once you get, once you get into summer and then in fall. So you have that peak season, which is on average like March through May. And into June, June has a lot of high sale prices because those deals were, most part, were negotiated back in March, April, and May when the majority of buyers were looking for properties and they were bidding, doing bidding wars against each other, increasing that sale price because there's more offers on the table at, during that time of year. So if you're a seller, don't have a preference in time of year of when you would actually like to sell, spring is probably your, spring will be, it's not probably, it will be your best bet of getting top dollar for your property and you have better odds of getting, of creating a bidding war for buyers out there. Some people don't like bidding wars, you know, it really comes down to personal preference, uh, it comes down to your personal circumstances, like the timing of the sale, like when you need to be out by, when you are moving across country, whatever your situation is, it comes down to that. Sometimes selling your home too fast is scary. Uh, but at the end of the day, I feel like most people really appreciate getting top dollar for their property. In a lot of cases, the timing of the sale is more important than the dollar number when it comes to the sale. Okay, we're going to get into the data for March through May 2024. And this is going to be for Worcester County again, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, you're going to see these pop up on the screen. So this is the start in March. I guess zoom in on this puppy here if this thing does zoom in. Okay, so March. 2023 to 2024, the median sales price is 415 in 2023, 452.5 in uh, March 2024. We're gonna really focus a lot on the days of market. So 46 in 2023 in March and 39 in 2024. So a decrease of seven days on the market. And what's the other one I, I wanted to see? New listings, month supply of inventory. So the inventory of homes for sale in 2020, March 2023, there's six round up to 700 homes for sale in March in Worcester County and then 2024 March was around 500 homes for sale so about 200 less homes for sale in March 2024 which has a direct correlation to the sale price during that year uh, the next month April 2024 median sales price in April 2023 438,950 in 2024 $470,000 the inventory so the number of homes on the market was 700 in 2023 and then 558 in 2024. And the days on market was 37 in 2023 and 34 in 2024. So homes are starting to sell a little bit faster and there's still less homes on the market in April than there were the, the prior April. May, 2024, <clears throat> the median sales price was 452 in 2023 in May 
and then in 2024 it was $480,000. The number of homes on the market actually increased in May 2024 compared to May 2023. 746 in 2023, 749 in 2024. In the days on market, it was the same exact days on market, 30 in 2023. 30 in 2024. So May is when it really started to re really shift this year compared to May last year. The number of homes increased, which is not uncommon. So based off those first two, three months, we've talked about March and April and May. If you're looking to sell in, in, in spring, you might want to look into selling in February, March, or April because those, so those May, the May median sales price, the May median days of market that all, that all directly correlates to the homes that were un went under contract back in February, March, and April of this year and every year prior. So all those deals were negotiated in the prior months, which has a direct effect on the, the median sales price in May and things like that. So the inventory of the homes increased as well. So uh, we don't have any data for June 2023, obviously. So we're going to talk about June 2020. No, June. We don't have any data for June 2024. So we're going to talk about June 2023 instead. And so kind of give you an idea of what June looks like on a typical basic basis. But obviously this market has been anything but typical all the, the last four or five years. Uh, the median sales price in June 2022 was 460 In 2023, it was 496750 So a big, big increase. Homes on the market, the inventory for homes for sale in 2023 in June in Worcester County, Mass, was almost 1100 this past June in 2023, 556 homes. So that's a decrease of almost 50% in the homes. So that skyrocketed, I wouldn't say skyrocketed, but that directly impacts sales prices. Obviously those sales prices, a lot of those deals were negotiated in the prior couple months, not in June itself. Very, very interesting. In the last month, or uh, we're gonna talk about June, July, 2023. A lot of these July deals were negotiated back in June. Okay, so the median sales price in 2022, 2022 July is 460, in 2023, 472.5. The inventory of homes for sales, a little over 1,200 in 2022. In July, 2023 is about 560. So a decrease of 54% just about, that is crazy. Days on market was 25 in 2022, 24 in 2023. So homes were selling faster in June and July than they were in March, April, and May. But yeah, that's kind of the, the gist of it. So if you're a seller looking to get top dollar, you got that couple month time frame, basically from March through July. I feel like July is when it really starts to die down a lot, especially. But the sweet spot, sweet spot is March through May. You have better odds of getting top dollar for your property and better odds of being able to dictate terms for your situation. You can dictate how long of a closing date you want, what's preferred for you if you're trying to buy another home at the same time. If you're waiting to get word on the apartment you're trying to rent, whatever it may be. You get to dictate home inspections if a buyer is more likely to waive an inspection or not waive inspection, waive a mortgage contingency, waive an appraisal, so on and so forth. You have better odds of doing that in, in springtime, in the spring months than you do in August, September, October, November, because there's less buyers and there's more homes on the active market. I put some graphs up on the screen of the active inventory for the years typically, which, and this data goes all the way back to 2017 up until 2024 in June. Uh, so you get the active inventory for those, the months, and just see how much it increases in the summer months and fall months compared to February, March, April, and May. And same thing with the number of listings on the market. And obviously those, everything goes, the number of listings goes up and down depending on time of year. You got certain holidays like 4th of July week, which is coming up very, which is next week as the time, at the time of this video recording. That is a pretty dead week for real estate. There's a lot of people that go on vacations. It's just a busy, it's just a hectic week. But if you are a serious home buyer, I know this video is not about home buyers. If you are a serious home buyer, that's a great week to go out to go out and look at properties because you're more likely to find a deal that way. If you're a seller that's itching to sell their home, you know, it's still not a bad time to to have your to have your home in the market because you can get those very serious buyers that are not gonna screw around. I'm not saying it's impossible to sell your home for top dollar in other months outside of the spring months, um, but it's a lot less likely because of the reasons mentioned, which I will go through one last time. In the spring, you can you there's more buyers looking. And once you get past those spring months, there's less buyers because they found a home, they had to renew their lease, or they simply just gave up and or couldn't afford the current market. So that's the reasoning why. And the other reason why is because there's less sellers on the market, as you saw from the, from those graphs. The number of homes on the active market is less than it is in 
June, July, August, September, October, November. So that's your best bet of getting top dollar for your home and being able to dictate terms of the of the contract. But at the end of the day, what makes the most sense for your personal circumstances if you're trying to sell right now? What is the best, best month? You might be starting a new job three months from now. You might have a family that's growing in, in three, four months. Who know? I don't know what your personal circumstances are, but it really depends on that. If you are still, if you're just ready to get move on from your home because you have no choice but to sell, you got to do what's best for you in that circumstance, and you got to hire the right realtor that's going to price it, price your proper property appropriately based off the current market conditions and relevant comps in the area to make sure that it doesn't just sit on the market for three months because that's not going to do you any good. And if that happens. You're not going to sell your home for as much as you originally anticipated. So if you found this video helpful, please like this, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, concerns, and share this video with, with someone that might find this useful. Uh, that, go, that goes a long way in all honesty. Got my contact info down below if you have any questions about buying or selling real estate. You can click the link down in the description if you want to book a consultation with me on Zoom. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate, first time buyer, first time seller, fifth time selling a property. I don't know. I don't care. As long as you need help selling or buying a home, I'm here for you. That begs my last question. When do you plan on selling or buying a home? Leave a comment down below or reach out to me directly via text or email or give me a call if you want to. And then we can discuss further about the best way to approach that. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in this video. I hope you got value out of it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video which will be coming probably next week. So thank you. Talk soon.